Okay, everybody, welcome back. We're here, we're gonna do some back. My favorite, love doing back. Why? Because the, actually, the actual element too, to having that width. The width consists of, of course, your shoulders, but the back pretty much makes it all up, you know? You have a nice wide back, guess what? You're gonna give that illusion, or you will have a smaller waist. This is for thickness. This is for back thickness. Again, with the right form, you're gonna have nothing but great shape. Again, but in this one, is, is a lot of things you have to remember. Again, one is always keeping your feet close together. You don't wanna go too wide. There's, there's no point doing this for back again because you wanna concentrate on that back movement. So one is feet together. Also, bend your knee. You have to bend your knee in order to pick up the bar. Why are we doing this? Because when your knee's bent, it takes away pressure from your lower back. Without the pressure in your lower back, you're allowed to actually perform the exercise with the full force, okay? And now, in the beginning of it, make sure that your butt is sticking out. Make sure you have the arch, arch position right here. So you don't want, you don't want this, okay? You want the nice arch bent over, all that pressure should go right on your lats, all right? And width, I would have to say, shoulder width apart. You don't want to go too wide, you won't be able to squeeze the muscle. Too close, you're working your arms, okay? So again, shoulder width apart. You usually could do this, one thumb. That way is a great, great way to measure. Can't go wrong with this. Thumb out, down. Again, chin up, release, and go. You want to look straight ahead. You don't want to look down because if you look down, you start bending your back. Like straight ahead. And you want to bring it to your waist. So it'll be right here, right to your waist. You go too high up here, you're going to start working your traps, your shoulders, OK? We're here working back. That's what ultimately you want to do. Again, this is great exercise. Remind you, the execution is definitely bending your knees, picking it up, nice and arch. There you go. So that's for back, that's for thickness. Now I'm also gonna show you a couple of machines just so you can know how to use the machines. Most machines are great. You think you can just get on them and just perform the exercise. It's very unlikely, it's not quite that simple. Again, so let's do one more exercise. Or I say a couple of more. Okay, this is the dumbbell row. Um, it's very common exercise for a lot of people that do back. Um, why? Because it's, it's a great exercise, of course. Same time, it works your, your outer lats. Gives you that nice shape on your back. You know, again, people still do it wrong. Doesn't matter what exercise it is, they're still gonna make mistakes, you know. On this one, I will show you one key way that'll help you not to make a mistake. Okay, this is how you will usually do it. One knee on the bench, one leg out, keep that balance, okay? And one arm on the bench. You notice, you should be getting a full stretch. Notice the back is getting a full stretch. You don't have to actually reach down because you're getting, you should get that stretch already. On the way up, That's enough. See where I am? That's enough. Any higher, you'll be doing that's something else. That's not back. I don't know what that is. Again, we're working on back. So be sure the way you execute, uh, execute the exercise is ultimately how you will get the results. Okay? Again, this is it right here. 
Notice my back. It's not round. Dumbbell straight down and So, bringing it to your waist. It's right to your waist area, you know? You don't wanna do this. Again, that's traps. That's all traps. It's to your waist. A lot of stronger guys don't do it on the bench because they wanna go heavy. You know, they'll do it off the bench. They'll do it like this. And they're going really heavy, but what do they do when they go too heavy? They drop the knee, they drop the knee, they drop the knee. You don't want to drop the knee. You can still go heavy without dropping the knee. Again, some people have a problem arching their back. So what I usually like to do, and it helps, it's actually lifting up the bench a little. Lift the bench a little, kind of forces you to arch. See, it forces you. Try to round off your back, you can't. So you're forced to have an arch back now. Again, that's one of the tricks to keep your back nice and arched and without you know, not doing the exercise wrong. That's what you want to avoid. This is what we're trying to keep you from doing. That's great dumbbell rows for the outer lats. Now let's work on the lat pull down for width. Let's work on that width. I gave you one for thickness, another one for shape. Let's work on that width. Let's go. Pull down. Okay, the lat pull down, again, is not a replacement of the, of the pull up bar. The pull-up bar is about the best thing you can do for your back. With no, no, I mean, hands down, it's the best. You know, again, that's my first exercise that I ever performed in my life. I thank God for it because it gave me the wide back. But many people cannot do the um, pull-ups. Again, this is an alternative, just an alternative. It does not mean it's the same one, it's just different, okay? Now on this one, you gotta notice, you know, is very uh, crucial with this movement because even though you're sitting down, even though it's a machine, guess what? Your back is still arched. You still gotta have that arch. It's the only way you're gonna perform that, that back movement, okay? Now, with the width, you have to remember. For some men, they can actually go a little wider. Women, there's no point to go any wider. For women, it's actually good to go right here, you know? You know, why? Because of the clavicles, the same time. Your scapula, you don't want to over hyperextend your scapula. You can actually pull a back muscle. You want to avoid injuries, as I keep saying. God knows I had enough of those. But uh, right here, for me, I like going about this wide. It's wide enough, it's perfect. Now I'm going to show you how to execute the exercise. You always, of course, sit down back arched, and as you bring it down, your elbows lead the way, your elbows, okay? And your chest up. You wanna bring it right above your chest. Right above your chest. You don't wanna do this. You don't wanna do that. That's something else, okay? You don't want it all the worst one I've seen, you don't wanna do this. I want to, this is, this is uh, I don't know, maybe working on your glutes or your hamstrings, I don't know. But uh, again, this, this, this is for back. In order to work back, you need to be straight up, chest up, okay, and boom, squeeze. Notice from the back, if you go to the back, my elbows go as low as they can go. It's my elbows I'm concentrating on.
See on this exercise again. Really, that's your main focus. That's where you want to go. You know, like I said, with the elbows, thing is why I use the elbows as a guide. Because if you know where your elbows is, whether it's for shoulders, for the rear, you know, whether it's for a, a dumbbell press, you want to keep your shoulders always kind of parallel. And for back, for back, you usually lead with your elbows. You know, you want them to go as far back as they can, but not overextend. So this one, again, I was specifying your elbows went down low, low enough where you flex your back. And one thing I cannot, you know, say enough of, always maintain, uh, maintain control. You got to maintain that control. Don't let the weight control you. You control the weight. Again, you don't want the weight pulling you. You don't want, you don't want to do this. You're squeezing and then letting go. And you don't want to do this. That means it's too heavy. Okay, so the control is from the bottom to the top. See, I'm flex. Constant tension on my back muscle. That's good for the width of your back. Now, let's do some arm exercises. You know, not everybody likes to do arms. It's great, you know. We could do some arms and, uh, you know, show those guns, you know. For you guys, always want to keep flexing. For the girls, let's work on that peak, you know. But first, before we start bicep, you're yours truly, your triceps. <laughs> 